Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, obedience does not mean agreement. And when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break. Luke 5, 4 through 6. God is not partial with who he calls. However, there are some guidelines that he gives for all those who he calls. One of them, he said, if any man would come after me, he must first deny himself, take up his cross, and then follow him. There's a reason why Jesus asks us to deny ourselves before following him. When we look in the military, we have the commanding officer who gives orders to the lower ranking officers. Now, I guarantee you, not all the orders that are given, the officers agree with. However, it is not about them agreeing, it is about them obeying. Now, the same principle applies with being a Christian. There are some things that God is going to require of us that in truth, we are not in agreement with. But it's not about agreeing, it's about obeying. Telling you to love those who hate you is not necessarily something that you might agree with. However, it is his condition that he requires of you. I remember some years ago being youth president in my former church. Now you have to understand, I was coming up with ideas and various ways of how to enhance the youth department and by extension, the church. But my pastor had a different vision from I did. And whenever I would bring ideas to him, I would bring five ideas. He turned down all five of them. And there were times I would not want to do anything because I said it made no sense until I realized there was only one pastor of the church and it was his vision that was leading the church. And as long as I was there, I had to learn to submit to his vision in order to function properly with my pastor. I had to tell myself, obedience does not require my agreement. Here we have the scenario of Peter being a fisherman. He was killed in this area. And here comes Jesus looking at Peter, telling him that he should throw his net one more time outside of the boat. I don't know about you, but as a videographer, if you hire me to video your wedding, unless you're skilled in the era of videography, do not tell me how to do my work. This is my profession. So I can imagine how difficult it was for Peter being a professional fisherman, having a carpenter telling him what to do. It was evident that Peter was a bit annoyed because he, he said, Lord, we have toiled all night and we caught nothing in other words. This instruction really doesn't make sense because we've done this all night and we are done washing our nets to go home. But what I admire about Peter is that Peter was willing to put aside his opinion to be in obedience to the word of God. Peter cast his net once more. The scripture said there was a great catch to the extent that their nets started to break. Child of God, what God requires from you is your obedience. You might not understand what God is doing. You might not understand the direction that he's going. But all he's asking of you is to trust his words. There's a great catch for you. It means that you are about to be blessed. You've got to be willing to do what God says, irrespective of the fact that you don't agree. The quote of the day, what God requires of us is that we obey him even if we don't agree. As you go today, child of God, go knowing that you're going to be faced with things today, that your flesh is telling you to do one thing and the Spirit is telling you to do another. I encourage you, walk in the Spirit. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey,